Hey everyone, Robert here, and I wanted to show you the differences between Enter Audio Units and Enter Audio Apps within GarageBand. Now, we are familiar with um, the interface that we get whenever we open up GarageBand if we have not uh, put up or are working on a current song. So we're going to go through the process of creating a new song and I'll show you the similarities and difference between these two very cool features within GarageBand. So I'm going to click on or tap on the plus sign to set up a new song and we're familiar with this uh, type of interface. Now we can scroll through and we can add our different instrumentations or we can use the external instruments. Now the cool thing about either one of these audio unit extensions and inter app audios is that you're using external apps to be able to add more sounds to your music production. So I'm going to go ahead and um, tap on an inner app audio and you'll see that I have all of my different audio apps on this iPad that I have to choose from to be able to get an instrument. I'm going to go ahead and backtrack here and we're just going to use the drummer. We're going to lay down a basic eight measure track with uh, just the generic drum. Okay, so for the sake of this experiment, let's just call it good. We're going to say that we love this and we're not going to do anything with it. So I'm going to go below the drum track and I'm going to tap on the plus sign and I'm going to add an inner audio app. Enter app audio, I should say. Now, here's where we get into the differences. Now, I can use any of these audio apps to add to this. And what it's going to do, let's say if I tap on my Sunriser Synthesizer app, is that I am going to be able to record a separate track while this audio um, function is open within GarageBand. You'll notice down here near the keyboard portion of this app, I have the ability to be able to record, to be able to play, and to be able to rewind. Now this is through the synthesizer and let's say that I wanted to add the sound to it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to tap on the little circle which should bring up the recording. It's going to give me a count in and then I'm going to be able to uh, record another track with the drum track. So let's give it a whirl. Okay, so we've got that wonderful bit of mastery recording and you're going to notice a drag within this simply because um, I'm broadcasting and aircasting at the same time. You're not going to have that type of drag whenever you're uh, doing your own thing. Okay, so if you'll notice I got my Sunriser uh, wonderful little bit of melody line with the drum so let's give it a play. Okay, and once again, the delay is because I am webcasting this and get, as I'm giving you this demonstration. Okay, so it's there. Um, it's a nice little feature. Um, the difference, the difference between this is whenever you're using your inner audio apps, it is bringing up the instrument at the same time, and you are recording from the instrument. Okay, you're able to record from here, but you're recording directly from the instrument. Okay, now, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what it's going to look like whenever we use the audio unit extensions. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that, and you'll notice that the list is extremely whittled down. I mean even the Sunriser app isn't in here that we used for the last time. These are apps that work within a main app as an audio unit extension. So if you'll notice that I have uh, several of these that I've downloaded um, including the Model 15 Moog app that is in there. So let's say that I wanted to 
go ahead and use the grand piano app that's on here. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And you'll notice that this opens right up in, right up in GarageBand. I'm not having to work within the other app. I can work directly within GarageBand. It sort of places that app within there and extends my instrument range. I can tap on the Jazz Piano and um, I'm going to go ahead and switch to Grand Piano and it'll load the instrument. And once again, I'm getting a lag because I'm giving you this demonstration, but you get the idea of what's going on. So I'm able to go ahead and record directly from GarageBand using this, inter or this audio unit instrument. And just for the sake of sanity, I'm going to stop this a little earlier. So you can see within this audio unit, I have input in here. And um, it's just a nice little feature that's here. But if you're going to go ahead and use this as your instrument, your audio unit extensions, what you have to keep in mind is that once you purchase or download each one of these instruments, you have to open them up first. And I'm going to show you what happens whenever you don't open up the app first before importing it into GarageBand. So let's say I'm going to choose the Model 15 here. Now it's giving me um, an instance where I have to launch the app first before I do that. So let's go ahead and get out of this. I'm going to go back into my directory or wherever it is that you have it. And I'm going to go ahead and launch the Model 15 app. And we're going to go ahead and allow it to access the microphone. Okay, looks great. Um, Moog Synthesizer Quick Start. Okay. And let's go ahead and go ahead and get out of the quick start right now. Okay, so we've played around with this. And folks, I tell you something, this Model 15, um, it costs a pretty penny, but it is incredible. It is incredible. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this wonderful, incredible app. And... Um, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to delete the track here. So after we open it up, we're going to go ahead and go back into the audio unit extensions. And I'm going to go ahead and add the Model 15. And it pops up nice and wonderfully. So we have our things that we can utilize here. Okay, so we have the ability to be able to do all of these different things within the GarageBand app. And we don't. So those are the main differences. So if we were to go back and just kind of go over each one of these, and I'm going to go ahead and open up my song too just to get that back up and using AirPlay, hence the lag time. If I wanted to do external instruments within the audio units extensions and the inner audio or inner app audios, they add extensions to sounds that you don't have in the original GarageBand stuff. So in inner app audio, I am able to access any of these apps here. If I were to tap on each one of these, the um, all of this stuff, I am able to go through and record directly into GarageBand from each one of these apps. So I could do it that way. I could do it that way. <laughs> Funny. Or I could go ahead and go through the audio unit extensions and choose each one of these extensions that I have went ahead and downloaded and it will show up within GarageBand so there isn't that um, 
there isn't that other instrument or that other app that's working in the background and you're able to utilize each one of these. So I wanted to show you just the extension that GarageBand has set up which is pretty darn cool um, and the differences between um, the audio unit extensions and the inner app audio. Now the inner app audio they have listings out there that usually show you what apps are compatible with um, GarageBand so that you can do these types of things. Um, not, all audio, not all audio apps will, um, allow, will be able to get into GarageBand. And the audio unit extensions, um, there's usually a list of that, but I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description of this video that will um, that will show you um, on in the App Store all of the apps that are uh, compatible with this type of thing. And if you have any um, inner audio app suggestions or audio unit extensions that um, work with this, uh, please please feel free to put it in the comment section below. That way you can help other musicians out. But in any case, I just wanted to give you this um, awesome heads up stuff on the external apps that you can incorporate to give you a lot more sounds and a lot more versatility within GarageBand. So hope this helps. Have a great Thanksgiving and have a wonderful day.